You gotta fight for your right to fight! The City Chiefs are finally going back to the Super Bowl for the first time in over 50 years. Patrick Mahomes led the team to a victory against Tennessee in the AFC Championship game, puts their ticket in to the Super Bowl for the first time since Lamar Hunt. For many constant heartbreak and failures and losses throughout the past few decades, the wait is finally over. The Chiefs will have an opportunity to compete for the Lombardi for the first time since Lamar Hunt and Len Dawson. For many Kansas City Chiefs fans, this victory means something else. But I had my wife on uh, one side and my 87-year-old grandfather on my other side and my mom and sister were sitting with us as well and getting to experience that moment with them and uh, with my grandpa next to me. It was uh, an experience that, I, of course, will stick with me forever. The win against Tennessee brought a lot of excitement and celebration for fans and the community in Kansas City, but it's also been a very stressful time. Stores and businesses have increased in sales dramatically over the past few weeks with all the Chiefs merchandise, and many fans have been very stressed about the games and the playoffs, and also have to deal with work and school. When we open at 9, there's a line uh, starting at the door at like 8.50, or on Sunday we open and I'd say there was, the parking lot was full 10 minutes before we opened the store. Honestly, this is one of the busiest times of the year for me from uh, teaching responsibilities and also with coaching in the basketball season. So since last Sunday, I really haven't had much time to think about uh, the Super Bowl. As for watching the Super Bowl, many fans will hold watch parties at either their homes or bars and restaurants. We're having a watch party at my house. I know my parents have a bunch of friends coming and I have a couple friends that are coming with me for sure. As for Mr. Holt, the seer of Olathe Northwest, he gets to go experience an opportunity of a lifetime with his dad, Mitch Holtis, the radio play-by-play -play commentator for the Kansas City Chiefs down in Miami this weekend. And I'll get to uh, experience the Super Bowl in person and of course it'll be opportunity of a lifetime to be there with my dad. I will get to be with him on Sunday for the game and, and in the booth helping him out with a few things. And also glancing up at the press box from where I was sitting and uh, just tears in my eyes as I thought about my father and how hard he's worked. Whether or not the Chiefs win or lose the Super Bowl, their appearance in this game will never be forgotten by anyone in the Kansas City area. I'd like them to be able to not only build a stronger, like more loyal fan base, because obviously they're really good right now, but I think if they lose, then there will be a lot of those bandwagons who may drop off. We will experience something that uh, has yet to happen. Even if, even if they don't win the game, uh, I think Chiefs fans should be proud of what's, what's occurred this season. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say final score, Chiefs 31, 49ers 30. 17. Seven Chiefs. As of this Thursday, the Chiefs are a one point favorite to beat the 49ers in Super Bowl 54 this Sunday at 5 30 on Fox. Will Patrick Mahomes be able to outbow the 49ers defense? And can the Chiefs defend him the 49ers running game? That's all to be determined. For ONW Now, this has been Andrew Beckwith.